What's up, everybody? It's your boy Meme here. At the beginning of the first song in the Social Network soundtrack, hold on, I have it in my Apple Music. In the soundtrack for the Social Network, the first song, Hand Covers Bruise, it starts with these, um, like a violin or a cello, and they're going like, -na 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 like, on their, um, on their, on their instruments. Oh god! No, there's like a term. There's a term for like the long thing on a string instrument, and when you're going like, on it, I forgot what that's called. It's It's been a while since I've interacted with string players, but, um, my parents' show were just, my, my parents were watching a show just now where um, a song was playing and it started with and it reminded me of Hand Covers Bruise in the Social Network soundtrack. Um, for breakfast I had one egg on one toast as opposed to two egg on two toast like I've had before which is <coughs> like I've had before which is just, it's just so much food. So much food. Um, for lunch I had quinoa salad and for dinner, I had leftover teriyaki. Um, we wrote an L on my package, or on my container for the food, uh, but then I wrote two W's, because <laughs> I'm W. <laughs> I, I took the pen out of my mom's hand and I wrote a W on it. Well, I, very, very lightly, I just took it like I needed it for something and then I wrote W on it, I was like, I'm W. It was so stupid. I don't even know why I'm talking about that, because that was probably one of the more stupid jokes I've made. Um, Oh my god, I'm a crazy per I'm crazy. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Um Yeah, nothing really happened today. I um the the model that we're working on, um I learned how to use a hand grinder and I've sort of just been grinding the concrete on it. Um basically, so it's like really far like it's a really long model, right? You can walk along it and it would take like a minute to walk across the whole thing. That's like a channel sort of, like a river thing. Um, and at the floor, there's all this concrete and it's at different levels and stuff. Whoa, there's something in my head. And it's at different levels and stuff. But the thing is, is, you know, you can't pour all the concrete at once. You have to pour it in like little chunks. Um, and so once you do that, once you take the little separators out, um, Everything like works mostly fine. Everything's like pretty much okay. Um, it's just um, the only problem is that uh, there are like these very small seams across the where the two bits of cement mix, not concrete, sorry, cement, where the two bits of cement mix. Um, and um, maybe it's concrete and not cement, but anyway. Uh, you get like a grinder and you grind that down so then it's smooth the entire way and I did My boss did half of it yesterday and I did about mm, a quarter of it uh, Today and the other guy who happened to be at the lab also did a quarter of it Something that was super fun that I did today was I threw brick. I love throwing brick. It's so much fun uh, And it was like super cool because I was throwing it to my boss and my boss threw it to these two guys who came in um, And they were laying brick there were lots of people in the lab today and everything went so efficiently. Normally it's just my boss or my boss and me. And um, you know, everything goes, like everything kind of has to go slow. Um, something I've learned is that, um, you know, if you're the only person doing something, it's sort of impossible for it to go fast and for you to do well, right? So, um, you know, if I'm doing something, I can't really do it fast. So, um, you know, there were like four people in the lab and we we're all doing our own things and everything was so efficient and it was phenomenal. It was great, it was great. Um, yeah, I cut some steel. I've been cutting steel really slow. I used to cut steel kind of fast but I realized that the blade kind of warps and uh, it's fine. It's fine, like you can, you can deal with steel. It was like C channels of steel and you can deal with steel that's a little warped. It's just a lot more trouble. Um, so uh, I've been doing it way slower, so then it's not even worked at all, and it's cut perfectly, and it's, it's pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty proud of these cuts that I'm making. Um, okay, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, nothing else really happened today. 
um, I've decided, I realized I probably need an emergency fund. I'm thinking about my Roth IRA and stuff, and a Roth IRA is very important to invest in early, especially considering I turned 18 seven days ago. <laughs> the, you know, that's, that's a pretty incredible investment time until, what, 62? Um, 62 and a half. Um, but the thing is, is that, you know, I put like a thousand dollars into my Roth IRA because that, that was just some money I had saved and I needed to put money into it to set it up. Um, and I haven't even set up my three fund portfolio. I'm going to do that this weekend. Hopefully it doesn't take like two seconds and I could have done it like five days early and gotten way more compound interest or compound, compound money, I guess, in my, in my Roth. But, um, you know, we'll see, I guess. Um, also, so yeah, so so once I have the funds set up in my Roth IRA, I'm probably gonna get an emergency fund and I'll probably just put a lot of cash in there. I'm probably not gonna invest much. I'm just gonna put some cash in there. I'm gonna put a lot of cash. Most of the cash I make, I'm gonna put into this emergency fund. So then when I'm like 20, you know, um, I'll have uh, enough money for like, a really, really, like, if I get, like, cancer or something, I'll have enough money for the incidentals, assuming that my, um, employer has health insurance, which I hope I'll have a, I hope I'll have a job with, with, um, employer health insurance when I'm 20, hopefully, um, fingers crossed, uh, because, yeah. you know, if I end up getting cancer or something, and this is that, getting cancer is sort of my worst case scenario, but honestly, like, like, what if I just, like, break my windshield, like, four times in a row, you know, I don't know. How much does getting a windshield replaced cost? Does that, does that cover my car insurance? I don't know enough. I don't know enough things. I know, um, I know I need to, um, I know I need to invest money. I, I know I need to get a Roth IRA. And I have a Roth IRA, it's just nothing's invested yet. Um, and I know I need an emergency fund. But honestly, I don't know. You know, you go on YouTube and it's like, oh, get enough of an emergency fund for like six months of expenses. And, uh, you know, what expenses? Every, every single thing I spend money on right now is voluntary, right? Except for... Yeah, yeah, okay, every, everything I spend money on right now is voluntary. Um, so, what? It's not as if my emergency fund should be zero dollars, because eventually I'm gonna have to spend money on rent and food and stuff. So, you know, I don't know. That's why I'm thinking about just putting as much money as possible into my emergency fund, because I don't know what my hopefully it will be as low as possible, but I don't know what my cost of living will be, right? So, um, we'll see. And, um... Oh my god. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I've been breaking out on my forehead. The reason why is because you have to wear this face shield and there's this like fabric on the face shield that's supposed to soften the, how it sits on your face. Uh, but the really freaky thing about that is that I don't know where, that's fat, where that fabric's been, you know? Um, there are only two face shields in the whole lab. There have been way more than two people using face shields at once. So I don't know who's been using that face shield. Um, we're probably just gonna buy some more. Um, yeah, all right. See you.